In the never-ending game of hide-and-seek between criminals and the long arm of the law, it's not unusual for the roles to switch. What's even more fascinating is when these lawbreakers find themselves ensnared in their own elaborate webs. Join us on this journey as we check out everything from the bungling burglar to the guy who was dumb enough to mug a marine in 20 times criminals fell into their own traps. Number 20, bungling burglar trapped on window. Trapped on window, a bizarre incident unfolded in Bangalore, India, where a rather inept burglar, identified as Suhant B, found himself in an unusual predicament on the third floor window ledge of a residential building. This peculiar situation occurred in the early hours of February 23rd and garnered the attention of both amused onlookers and concerned authorities. Suhant's ill-fated adventure began as he attempted to break into a house. He climbed to the window ledge, only to realize that the window was fortified with a security grill, rendering his break-in attempt futile. He was effectively trapped on the precarious ledge. The comical scene was captured on video, showing Suhant desperately clinging to the window frame while a growing crowd gathered below, watching the spectacle with a mix of amusement and disbelief. The video quickly went viral, making Suhant an unwitting internet sensation. As the crowd's laughter grew, so did Suhant's desperation. The local fire department was called to the scene and two firefighters initiated a rescue operation. Suhant was carefully assisted down a ladder and at one point, it seemed he had a rope tied around him which he promptly removed once he reached solid ground. Surprisingly, Suhant's escapade wasn't part of a burglary plan, but rather an escape from a drunken altercation with his colleagues. This incident led to a swift response from the local police and fire brigade, who successfully resolved the situation. While Suhant managed to avoid jail time for burglary, he still faced legal consequences for public disturbance and endangering himself and others. Number 19. Former Marine fights man who attempts robbing station, James Kilser, a former Marine Corps veteran, has become a celebrated hero after his courageous act of thwarting a convenience store robbery in Arizona. In an exclusive interview with Fox News, Kilser shared the gripping details of how he prevented what could have been a disastrous crime. As Kilser was on the verge of leaving the store, he suddenly sensed trouble when the door flung open aggressively. Three individuals entered the establishment, with one of them brandishing a weapon. Kilcher's intuition kicked in, and he swiftly took action. Without hesitation, he lunged at the armed suspect, disarming him with a lightning-fast and precise move. The store's surveillance cameras captured the breathtaking moment as Kilcher tackled the juvenile suspect to the ground while the other two culprits made a hasty retreat. In addition to his quick reflexes, Kilser's choice of weapon was unconventional, a bag filled with two Gatorades, two energy drinks, and a snack. In a split second, he managed to not only grab the gun, but also use the bag to strike the armed suspect in the face, effectively neutralizing the threat. Number 18. Truck driver outwits carjackers. In a heart-stopping viral video that has captured the internet's attention, an attempted carjacking in Chile turned unexpectedly thanks to the victim's quick thinking and the sheer power of their robust truck. The entire dramatic incident was recorded on the victim's dash cam, revealing a showdown that left viewers both thrilled and astonished. The carjackers, driving a compact SUV, boldly maneuvered to block the victim's truck on a narrow flyover. Two threatening figures jumped out of the SUV, charging towards the frightened truck driver who began desperately reversing. When escape seemed impossible, the truck driver had a brilliant realization, use the massive size and strength of the truck to their advantage. With nerves of steel, the driver shifted into forward gear, hit the accelerator, and rammed into the carjacker's SUV. The collision severely damaged the rear of the would-be thieves' vehicle. But the truck's work was far from done. The driver then dragged the disabled SUV to the nearest intersection, effectively freeing themselves from the blockade and ensuring that justice would be served. Number 17. Brazilian pranksters teach bike thief a lesson. In Brazil, a group of clever pranksters tackled the problem of bike theft in an unconventional and highly entertaining way. Rather than relying on traditional locks, they devised a social experiment that left potential thieves both surprised and humbled. These pranksters, known as the primitives, 
famous for their amusing antics on Brazilian television, set the stage for their unique experiment. They positioned an enticing bicycle against a tree in a busy park, right in plain sight of passersby. Unbeknownst to the onlookers, a hidden camera was capturing every moment. Curious individuals, unable to resist the temptation of an easy getaway, approached the unattended bike. Without hesitation, they hopped onto the bike and began to pedal away, their confident grins revealing their intentions. However, the prank had a surprising twist. A nearly invisible piece of string was cleverly concealed from view. As the unsuspecting thieves pedaled off with their ill-gotten prize, the string snapped taut, sending them tumbling over the handlebars in a dramatic somersault. The spectacle drew laughter from the hidden camera crew and left the would-be thieves with nothing but embarrassment. This creative prank not only provided entertainment, but also delivered a valuable lesson about the consequences of theft, reminding everyone that crime doesn't pay. Number 16. Doing Tesco Over Again In a shocking sequence of events, Andrew Hennels received a four-year prison sentence for an armed robbery he brazenly announced on Facebook just moments before carrying it out. On the evening of February 13th, Hennels posted a chilling message on the social media platform, boldly declaring his intent to do Tesco over at 7.25 p.m. Astonishingly, he followed through with his threat only 15 minutes later, wielding a knife and demanding money from the staff at the King's Lynn branch of Tesco. Despite managing a quick escape, Hennels' freedom was short-lived. Law enforcement swiftly apprehended him in a nearby pub, where they found 410 euros in stolen cash and the knife used in the crime. In court, the 31-year-old admitted to the robbery and carrying a knife. Judge Anthony Bate, emphasizing the serious threat Hennels posed to the public, handed down a four-year prison sentence for armed robbery. Number 15. Pizza Guy Nabs Running Suspect In the quiet town of Middletown Township, Pennsylvania, an ordinary pizza delivery driver found himself in an extraordinary situation. Tyler Merle was just going about his job delivering a hot, delicious pizza to a customer's doorstep when fate intervened in the form of a high-speed chase. As he approached his delivery destination, Merle witnessed a stolen car racing down the street, careening dangerously. The car eventually crashed, and the suspects jumped out, fleeing on foot. Without hesitation, Merle sprang into action. Balancing the precious pizza in one hand, he skillfully tripped one of the suspects, causing them to stumble and fall, thus slowing their escape. Merle's quick thinking allowed the pursuing police officers to catch up and apprehend not only the suspect he tripped, but also an alleged accomplice. Eyewitnesses marveled at the sudden turn of events, describing the suspect going from midair to grounded in an instant. Interestingly, this wasn't the first time Merle had found himself in a situation requiring quick reflexes and bravery. Known locally for his calm demeanor and quick wits, Merle had once helped a stranded motorist by using his truck to push their car to safety during a snowstorm. This incident only added to his reputation as a local hero. Miraculously, amid the chaos, the pizza remained unharmed and reached its intended destination. Number 14. Getaway car abandons shoplifting. Suspect. A dramatic incident unfolded outside Hibbet Sports on Troy Road in Edwardsville, Illinois, where a viral TikTok video has become a key element in identifying suspects involved in a shoplifting incident. Three women entered the store, raising suspicion among employees who recognized one of them as a previous shoplifter. They promptly alerted the police, who were on the scene as the women exited the store. The video, which has already amassed millions of views on TikTok, captured a shocking moment. As the suspects attempted to escape with stolen clothing, their getaway car sped off, leaving one of them stranded. The video also shows a close encounter with an oncoming vehicle, an Edwardsville police car, raising concerns about potential accidents. The stranded suspect eventually dropped the stolen items and was apprehended after a brief chase. Number 13. Thief caught in a teddy bear. In a bizarre twist of events that could rival a Hollywood heist comedy, an 18-year-old car thief, Joshua Dobson from Spotland Rochdale, attempted to evade the clutches of the law by hiding inside a colossal teddy bear. This peculiar case, which unfolded on August 10, 2022, left both law enforcement and the public in disbelief. Dobson's misadventure began when he was sought by police for motor vehicle theft, driving without a valid license, and evading payment at a petrol station. Law enforcement officers diligently scoured an address in Rochdale, baffled by the young criminal's mysterious disappearance. 
However, their bafflement quickly turned to amusement and astonishment as they observed the massive teddy bear showing signs of life. In a detailed follow-up investigation, it was revealed that Dobson had a history of attempting unconventional hiding places to evade capture. He once tried to hide in a hollowed-out mattress, and another time inside a large suitcase. These previous antics made his latest attempt with the teddy bear all the more fitting. With a mixture of intrigue and suspicion, the officers unzipped the fluffy facade to reveal Dobson concealed within. It was a moment that could have been plucked from the script of a slapstick comedy, but this was no act. Number 12. Automatic door prevents shoplifter. In a hilarious turn of events, a smartphone thief's daring heist in Dewsbury, United Kingdom, took an unexpected twist when the quick thinking of the shopkeeper left the thief red-faced and empty-handed. The incident, caught on CCTV, unfolded at the phone market shop on a fateful December 4th afternoon. The thief, disguised as an ordinary customer, initially appeared inconspicuous in a hoodie. However, his intentions became clear when he seized a mobile phone worth 1,600 euros and made a run for the exit. But little did he know that shop owner Afzal Adam had a trick up his sleeve. With the flick of a remote control, the shopkeeper jammed the glass door, trapping the bewildered thief inside. Afzal Adam, having experienced several attempted thefts in the past, had invested in the automatic door locking mechanism as a preventative measure. This investment was part of a broader security upgrade that included installing high-definition CCTV cameras and an alarm system linked directly to the local police station. His foresight in implementing these security measures paid off spectacularly during this incident. Realizing his escape route had vanished, the thief had no choice but to sheepishly return the stolen phone to its rightful owner. Remarkably, Afzal Adam had invested just 250 euros in the door locking mechanism in 2020 as a security measure against potential thefts. He explained that with people wearing masks, the device paid for itself that day. Number 11. Jailed while trying to bail out a friend. Once in the quiet town of Splendora, a peculiar incident occurred that would forever brand an individual as the world's dumbest criminal. The protagonist of this odd tale was none other than Kevin Doak, a 33-year-old resident of Porter. Little did he know that his actions on that fateful day would become the stuff of legend. It all began when Doak received a distress call from a friend who found themselves in a spot of trouble. This friend had been apprehended due to a city warrant after a minor car accident. Ever the loyal companion, Doak rushed to the rescue, determined to bail out his buddy. With a pocket full of cash and the best of intentions, he entered the Splendora Police Department. His plan was straightforward. Hand over the cash, secure his friend's release, and walk away as the hero of the day. Little did he realize that life had a different script in store for him. Upon reaching the counter, Doak confidently pulled out the money intending to pay his friend's bail. However, as he reached into his pocket, fate decided to intervene. Along with the cash, a small bag of crystal meth accidentally came out, much to the astonishment of the officer on duty. In a desperate attempt to cover his blunder, Doak insisted that the mysterious white substance was merely salt. But the officer, seasoned in identifying narcotics, wasn't fooled by Doak's flimsy explanation. The officer tested the substance, confirming it was indeed methamphetamine. Time for the fancy topic! In a surprising turn of events, a burglar named Kevin Jenkins found himself caught in his own trap during an attempted home invasion. Late one night, Kevin broke into a suburban home, expecting an easy heist. Armed with a crowbar, he smashed through a glass door, not realizing the homeowner, Jim Thompson, was prepared for such an event. Jim had set up a clever defense system after a series of break-ins in the neighborhood. The system included motion sensors and strategically placed deterrents. As Kevin entered the home, he triggered a hidden alarm that alerted Jim, who was ready with a shotgun. Startled by the sudden noise and the sight of the armed homeowner, Kevin froze in his tracks. Realizing he was outmatched, Kevin's plan quickly unraveled. He attempted to flee but stumbled over the shattered glass, injuring himself in the process. Jim held him at gunpoint until the police arrived, securing the bumbling burglar's capture. Have you ever heard of a criminal being so unprepared? How can homeowners better protect themselves against break-ins? Share your thoughts. Let us know in the comments with the hashtag fancy topic. Number 10. Intruder harassed by a Dane. This is the story of a home pet Dane that saved the day. 
In the midst of a quiet Oklahoma City afternoon, a harrowing story of bravery and canine loyalty unfolded. Tracy McCoy, home alone, was completely unaware of the uninvited guest who had audaciously crossed the threshold of her home. It was her devoted guardian Dubai, a protective Great Dane, who sensed impending danger and took action. Dubai, renowned for his gentle giant disposition, did not rush to alert his owner. Instead, he extended a cautious curiosity toward the intruder, cunningly luring the stranger into a false sense of security. The security camera captured the surreal scene as the intruder, drawn in by Dubai's apparent warmth, stopped to pet the dog, oblivious to the fierce protector lurking beneath the surface. As the intruder ventured further into the house, Tracy, unaware of the unfolding drama, was caught off guard. Her sudden scream startled both Dubai and the intruder, triggering an immediate response from the loyal dog. Dubai's transformation from a friendly pet to a ferocious guardian was swift and terrifying. His barking grew louder, and he began to nip at the intruder, pushing him towards the door. The security footage showed Dubai's relentless pursuit, ensuring the intruder had no chance to retaliate or further invade the home. Thanks to Dubai's heroic intervention, the police were able to apprehend the intruder and charge him with attempted burglary. Tracy was left shaken but filled with relief and gratitude, all because of her loyal and fearless companion. Number 9. Bagman, Badman. During the lively Elvis festival in Porthcall, an unusual burglary unfolded, bringing an unexpected twist to the event. Christopher Badman, a 37-year-old from Bridgend, decided to disguise himself by placing a carrier bag over his head as he entered the Marine Hotel. His intent was to go unnoticed while strolling through the hotel's corridors. However, Badman's plan took a rather humorous turn. As the security cameras documented his escapades, he took the peculiar decision to remove the bag from his head and gaze directly into the lens. Badman's ill-fated burglary attempt took place during the annual Elvis Festival, a time when the town of Porthcall swells with visitors, including many Elvis impersonators from around the world. This timing added an extra layer of absurdity to his actions. Despite his poor choice of disguise, he brazenly continued his exploration of the hotel, oblivious to the watchful eyes of security. In the end, Badman's ill-conceived burglary was short-lived, as a guest discovered him in the midst of his antics. The consequences were swift. Badman pleaded guilty to the burglary and was subsequently sentenced to 16 months in jail. He was also ordered to pay 900 euros in costs and a 100 euro surcharge. Number 8. Lukasz Choynowski. Returning from a five-day holiday, Pat Dyson, age 73, and Martin Holtby, age 78, encountered an astonishing surprise in their Nelson Lancashire home. Lukasz Choynowski, a 28-year-old Polish man desperate for work, had broken in, transformed their residence into a sanctuary, and even dozed off in their bed. Choynowski's escapade was straight out of a modern-day fairy tale. While the couple was away, he indulged in a luxurious bubble bath whipped up a chicken filet and pasta dinner, neatly stacked dishes, and sorted post and newspapers. Strangest of all, he hung his socks and underwear out to dry. Upon entering their home, Holtby was flabbergasted, exclaiming, someone's been sleeping in my bed and he's still here? The couple promptly alerted the authorities. Zoynowski's actions were triggered by a misunderstanding. He had lost his rented lodgings due to language difficulties and believed the overgrown wildlife garden indicated the house was abandoned. Despite the unexpected guest's presence, no items were stolen during his whimsical takeover of the couple's abode. As authorities investigated further, it was clear Choynowski harbored no malicious intent. He simply sought refuge and mistakenly thought the house was vacant. The outcome was a two-year conditional discharge and a 200 euro penalty for Choynowski who left behind a bizarre yet whimsical story of an uninvited guest who made himself quite at home. Number 7. Robbers and Clerk, Machete and Sword Challenge In a daring twist of events, two would-be robbers donned in ninja attire and armed with a menacing machete were met with an unexpected surprise when they attempted to hold up a Pittsburgh convenience store. The daring duo stormed into Perry Market under the Shroud of Night, their intentions clear as one of them vaulted the counter, brandishing the machete menacingly and demanded money. However, their grand plans were quickly thwarted by the unlikeliest of heroes, store cashier Jwad Hay. In a display of bravery and quick thinking, Hay reached behind the counter and revealed a sword, a bold move that left the robbers momentarily stunned. 
With swift precision, he used his sword to disarm the assailant, sending the machete clattering to the floor. The unexpected turn of events didn't end there. A brave customer seized the opportunity to apprehend the second suspect, though he eventually managed to break free. The chaotic scene was captured on the store's surveillance cameras, providing clear evidence of Hayes' courageous actions. Hayes' remarkable bravery and quick reflexes not only protected himself and the store, but also demonstrated how an ordinary person can rise to the occasion in extraordinary circumstances. In a desperate dash for freedom, both teenagers fled the scene. As the days passed, the identity of these brazen robbers remained shrouded in mystery, with their whereabouts unknown. Number 6. Double Life Gone Wrong What could drive someone to take such an unusual course of action, completely diverging from their initial intent to rob a store? In a curious incident in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Matthew Crowder's actions raised the question, what was he thinking? Why, one might wonder, did Crowder choose to leave his business card behind at the crime scene, essentially leaving a trail right to his doorstep? Crowder, caught on surveillance video stealing a necklace from a consignment shop, went beyond ordinary recklessness. His bizarre behavior didn't stop at the theft. Crowder left behind his business card at the scene, as if inviting authorities to track him down. Albuquerque Police Department, Public Information Officer Simon Drobik, couldn't hide his amazement, dubbing Crowder a goofball. Even more bewildering, Crowder took to Facebook within hours, posting a picture of the stolen necklace. This not only showcased his lack of common sense, but also his arrogance, thinking he could flaunt his stolen goods without facing consequences. The shop owner, Jasmine Bailio, was dumbfounded. This story leaves us with an array of unanswered questions. Number 5. Jake Ned Steals Clothes from Car Trunk a daring thief found himself at the center of a heart-pounding showdown with the law in the heart of West London. In a scene reminiscent of an action movie, Jake Ned, 31, had just raided a black Range Rover parked on a quiet residential street, swiftly snatching valuables before making a hasty escape on a Boris bike. As he pedaled furiously, a determined police van rapidly closed the gap, with one officer poised to deliver swift justice. The thrilling encounter unfolded as the officer behind the wheel of the van executed a bold and ingenious move. With a sudden swing, he thrust open the passenger side door, using it as an instrument of justice to knock Ned off his bicycle. The audacious thief was sent sprawling head first over the handlebars, sprawled on the pavement. The arresting officer wasted no time and promptly took Ned into custody. As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that Ned had a history of petty thefts. His method of using a bicycle to make a quick getaway was not new, but this time his luck ran out. The dramatic takedown was captured in vivid detail by CCTV, serving as a stark reminder that even the most cunning criminals can be caught off guard. Minutes later, law enforcement arrived at the scene, alerted by vigilant witnesses who had seen Ned's theft from the unlocked Range Rover. Swift and decisive legal action was taken against Ned, who appeared before the courts and was sentenced to 28 weeks in jail for theft from a motor vehicle, going equipped for theft and taking a vehicle without consent. Number 4. Aspiring Thief Runs Into Glass Window In the world of criminal escapades, some thieves manage to leave us in awe, not because they are cunning, but because of their sheer lack of it. Let's take a little trip to Washington where a 17-year-old aspiring thief embarked on a daring mission to liberate some high-end handbags from a Louis Vuitton store. The audacity of it all. But what truly made this escapade unforgettable was the spectacular finale. In his hasty escape, our young bandit sprinted headfirst into a transparent glass window, promptly rendering himself unconscious. It's hard not to chuckle and wonder, did no one ever teach this young adventurer the fundamental art of distinguishing glass from open air? Number 3. Gatorade Man In the heart of a local convenience store, a mysterious character frequented the scene, known to all as the Strange Gatorade Man. He possessed an audacious audacity that left both patrons and staff astounded. Gatorade Man's modus operandi was as brazen as it was bizarre. With a confident swagger, he'd saunter in, filling his duffel bag with a cornucopia of delectable treats, cakes, candy, soda, Gatorade, and chips. What set him apart was his utter disregard for the establishment's surveillance, never bothering to shield his face from the prying eyes of the CCTV cameras. Week after week, Gatorade Man staged his audacious heists, 
taunting both the law and logic. He was on a serial thieving spree that seemed destined to go unpunished. The convenience store had grown so accustomed to his antics that they'd affectionately christened him Gatorade Man, in honor of his peculiar obsession with the energy drink. His routine was as predictable as the sunrise. He'd stroll in, pilfer his chosen items, and casually stride toward the exit, secure in the knowledge that no one would dare stand in his way. The store's leniency seemed infinite until one fateful day when Gatorade Man's luck ran dry. As he was poised to execute yet another nearly flawless heist, the store clerks decided that enough was enough. With an abrupt twist of fate, they locked the exit door, trapping him within the confines of the store. Panic seized him, and the police were summoned. Gatorade Man's desperation took hold as he relentlessly pounded on the door, attempting to escape, but fate had other plans. In an unprecedented turn of events, Gatorade Man began to return his ill-gotten loot to their original positions, one by one, maintaining only a solitary Gatorade for luck. Miraculously, after a strenuous five minutes of struggle, the plexiglass gave way, granting him a path to freedom. Number 2. The Tagged Killer Meet Khalil Wheeler Weaver, popularly known as the Tagged Killer. His story is one that plunges you into a world of darkness and deception. In just three months, Wheeler Weaver embarked on a macabre killing spree, hunting vulnerable women. It's a horrifying narrative that might have continued unabated were it not for an unforeseen twist and the unwavering pursuit of justice. Khalil Wheeler Weaver was the epitome of inconspicuousness, a clean-cut security guard with an eerie secret. His first victim, Robin West, a young woman grappling with mental health issues, met a grisly end her body discovered in a charred state. Her identity remained a mystery for two agonizing weeks. Shortly thereafter, Joanne Brown, a homeless woman with her own battles, vanished after getting into Wheeler Weaver's car. Her body, strangled and tape-covered, was found in an abandoned house weeks later. The tide began to turn with the arrival of Sarah Butler, a bright student who crossed paths with Wheeler Weaver on the tagged app. Unbeknownst to her, she was venturing into the abyss. In an eerie prelude to her fate, she texted him, You're not a serial killer, right? Little did she know the grim truth concealed beneath the surface. As Sarah's disappearance sent shockwaves through her circle, Tiffany Taylor, a pregnant woman, emerged as a harbinger of hope. Her harrowing tale of escape from Wheeler Weaver's clutches revealed a darkness that begged to be exposed. Sarah Butler's family decided to take justice into their own hands, orchestrating an audacious sting operation through a fabricated, tagged profile. They lured Wheeler Weaver into a trap, leading to his arrest by undercover officers. Inside his lair, damning evidence surfaced, including disturbing internet searches and cell phone records that linked him to the crime scenes. The trial marked a pivotal moment, with the families of his victims confronting their tormentor. Despite Wheeler Weaver's protestations of innocence, the jury rendered a damning verdict, finding him guilty on multiple counts, including murder and desecration of human remains. The wrenching testimonies from victims' families and survivors laid bare the agony he had wrought upon their lives. Justice triumphed in the end. The judge sentenced the tagged killer to 160 years behind bars, a fitting reckoning for a man who considered his victims expendable. While their lives were brutally truncated, their memories endure as a reminder that every life is precious, and their stories must never fade into obscurity. Number 1. Manhole Cover Thief in an unusual and somewhat comical incident in Medellin, Colombia, a thief attempting to make off with a manhole cover experienced a swift and unexpected dose of karma. Bystanders happened to capture the entire escapade on camera, leading to a surprising turn of events. The video footage reveals the thief's daring endeavor to lift the heavy manhole cover, only to be confronted by a passing motorcyclist who questioned his actions. In his attempt to handle the unwieldy metal object, the thief lost his balance and tumbled into the gaping drain beneath. The onlookers couldn't contain their amusement as the beleaguered man managed to clamber back to street level. Remarkably, the thief emerged from this escapade without serious physical injuries, although his pride was undoubtedly wounded. Clearly in pain, he hobbled away from the scene, leaving the ill-fated manhole cover behind. The video quickly gained traction on the internet becoming a viral sensation and eliciting a barrage of comments from entertained viewers. The thief's misadventure served as an unexpected form of entertainment for those who witnessed it, highlighting the often humorous outcomes of ill-conceived criminal plans. 
Do you think these criminals got what they deserved? Let us know in the comments below.